Well, and I'm back this time for another season of Nation Wars. And here we go, game number one, set number one for this matchup. It will be between Thailand versus Philippines. We have here Faith. He's gonna be spawning at the top right corner of the map as the orange Protoss, and his opponent is gonna be Xpec. I am Gao. I'm just gonna call him I'm Gao, I guess, or Gao, just for short. And he's gonna be spawning at the bottom left corner of the map has the red protoss so here we go guys first series of the day i guess first game of the day it is gonna be a pvp on sana caverns now mirror matchup is not really my cup of tea and also protoss versus protoss is not my cup of tea but pretty much uh one thing is certainly gonna happen is that uh not really certainly but most definitely someone's gonna foregate here or someone's gonna do uh tree gate with a robotic facility but we will see though someone might pull off a cheese or something like that but it's not really a standard I am pretty sure or as much as I've seen from Taiwan gameplay like they do they really like to do timing pressure especially their protest players and right now I think uh, the T TESL the Taiwan Esports League has more protos than any race and I think there's only like one or two Zergs right now in that league as well. So Protoss is pretty much the most powerful race they have. And all, all of them are pretty much uh, well experienced I guess with their PvPs. But we will see how Fate will do here. Fate is actually one of the up and coming players in the Philippine scene right now. I've seen this place a, uh, a couple times only but I've seen a lot of potential. And we'll see how he's gonna do and perform here right now. He has been practicing a lot of PV PvP, I tell you that. He really, really hates PvP. That's why he practiced a lot of PvP lately. As we do see, I'm Gauss. Probe right here, gonna be entering the base. Oh, Fate. So, curious to see that Fate doesn't really have a scout. No, here we go. The scout of Fate is right here. Just patrolled inside the core of the base of I'm Gao. Cybernetic score going down for both players. So, pretty much both players are going for the same build. But I'm Gal has his zealot on the way right now. Nothing really on the way right now for Mr. Fate, and he's gonna go actually gonna go for a second gate first before putting out the first unit. So that's a little bit of deviation right there. So both players aren't really gonna go for wall off. It's not really suggested to go for wall off in a PvP match, especially during the mid to late game, as some of the units will just completely outrange you. And we do have the Zealot right here on the way across the field right now. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of harassment inside the base of Fate. Let's see how Fate will do here. He is gonna have a Stalker up and ready already to defend against that. And oh, the Fate's SCV or Fate's Probe is gonna be warded away by that Zealot. Both players really, really even right now. Fate a little bit ahead in food supply, but he is supply box. Oh man, that's kind of bad. And a little bit of lag right here for one of our spectators. So welcome again to C Nation War Season 2 guys. Uh, thanks to our sponsors, Neo Lucian and all the sub sponsors as well. Zotac, um, not really sure with the rest of the sponsors. But yes, thanks anyway for sponsoring this event. And this is actually looking like it's already entertaining and drama has started already. Especially with the New Zealand versus Australian match that's about to be happening at 6 o'clock PM later on. So units are real quick, we have two stalkers out right now for fate only one stalker and one zealot right here on the other uh, on the other pro players area but it's not nothing really happening right there but we do see a robotic facility going down for fate right now and i don't think i don't think that i'm gal is aware of that and oh the zealot is definitely gonna go down here fate is doing his micro very very well gonna salvage the stalker very very nicely very good job good micro right there by fate and I'm pretty sure, the, oh yes indeed, both units did go down for I'm Gao. And we do have oh, a proxy pilot coming down right here for I am Gao. He might do a little bit of timing push right here. We do have a Twilight Council already. So he might go for some Dark Templars. I'm not sure though, he only has three gates right now. Maybe just researching Blink. But we will see, we will see. Income tab 25 against 23 harvesters right now. So I'm go actually has a little bit of a better economy, but it's not really a lot of a difference. 
as it is only two pros. But then again, it's in the long run. He does pile up. We do have a robotics play on the way as well, right here for Fate. He's not making an observer though. So uh, maybe that's a little bit of. Uh, maybe we need to know that a little bit. As there is a Dark Shrine on the way right now. Oh man, this is gonna be so bad. Good thing though. Good thing that Fate has a robotics facility and he is making an observer here. Nicely done right there. And I hope he doesn't really send that observer all the way across the map. Because that's gonna be so horrible for him. If ever that Dark Templar gets in his base, or a couple Dark Templars gets in his base and just did so much damage. I'm wondering where the Dark Shrine is on the way. The Dark Shrine is in the core of his main base. So Fate doesn't have any idea that that's about to pop out anytime soon. It is rallied to the main base. Oh man. That is this is not actually good. But then again, he might might have enough time. Maybe he will able he's gonna be able to see the Dark Shrine first before the first Dark Templar pops out. We will see that in just one moment. He does have a good amount of units right here. And we do have the first Colossus on the way out right now as well. This is the only units of I am God right now, so he's really really committing to this cheese right here. And let's see how this will work out. We do have more zealots on the way as well. For I am God, we do have charge on the way being researched and thermal lance is being researched as well here for that Colossus. So the thermal lance is pretty much gonna be helping him out a lot. And here we go, the first Dark Templar is on the way. Oh this is gonna be This is gonna be crucial. How much damage can he do? Oh, good hold position right there by Fate. Oh, that Dark Templar never did any damage. Very, very nice job right here. And now Fate is going to be returning his Observer to his main base as he does know that a, a cheese did happen. And I think he did see that there are there's like blurry vision right there for Fate. And that signals the Dark Templar. And here we go. We do have an Archon on the way right now. And he and I think we are about to see a time crush right now being done right here by I am Gao. And this is actually not a good thing for Fate. He needs to put all those zealots in front and not those stalkers as those zealots can do can handle more damage. And that's a lot of zealots right there. And here we go. This is gonna be a really really big push right here. The first class is out, the Termalance is not done yet, but we will see here. Is this gonna be enough? Nice forces right there by Fate and also some of those units are not gonna go up right there by I am Gal. Good damage right here by Fate and now I am Gal. It's a little bit in the back foot, but still food wise, it is still very, very much even. More zealots are being uh, warped in as well here. And I think that's the end of the harassment. Both players are most likely gonna be expanding right now. As I am Gal doesn't really seem that he is gonna be moving in anytime soon. And I think Fate is gonna be over overcompensating here a little bit and might produce a lot more units than he needs to. Second Colossus is out already right here for Fate as well. As the Nexus is already on the way for I am Gal. So he's gonna be the one who's gonna have the expansion first. And I think he I think Fate can actually do a counter push right here. And he might do a lot of damage as well. More Archons are being warped in here for I am Gal as well. More and a Robo Bay is on the way as well. So that Dark Shrine build, the Dark Shrine cheese didn't work out as he wanted to. So that's actually really, really interesting to see. And that's really a good hold right there by Fate. 70 food against 61 food in favor of Fate Harvester Tab. 32 against 24. So that's a really big lead right now for I am Gal. Economy wise, he is in the lead, so he can actually reproduce more units than Fate. But we might see the finishing blow right here for Fate very, very shortly. As I don't think uh, I am Gal has enough units right here, only has an Archon in his main base. That is a lot of units right there for her Fate. Three Colossus with a ton of Zealots and a Sentry as well in that mix. Let's look at the food count real quick. Uh, three Stalker, uh, three Colossus, four Stalkers, and 11 Zealots right here. Oh man, this is gonna be so bad. And all those units of Gal is just gonna run away. Gotta try his best to delay the units of Fate right now. And I think Fate just needs to go all in into, into the main base before he's able to reproduce. But we will see though, we will see how much damage Fate can do right now. And now I am Gal is mass reducing Zealots. As he doesn't really have that much gas to produce anything else. And oh man, what is Fate doing right now? He's just chilling right now. He does have the Palan on the way right now. Maybe he's gonna wait for that Palan to finish and he's gonna be able to warp in more units as well. 88 against 85 food right now. It is still pretty much even. Anything anyone can still win this game. It all depends on what's gonna happen in the next clash. But then again, Thermalance has been researched. That's gonna do so much damage. Look at that. Look at the damage. The damage that's doing on all those Zealots. Those Zealots are just gonna run away and still delaying the, the attack of Fate. This is actually a good job by Amgal, but then again, he's still losing 4 Zealots. He is mass producing more units right here in the main base, warping in more units and stuff. Foden Cannon is on the way as well to help defend for Fate. 
Oh, the Dark Templar doing some damage as well here. Oh, completely missed that. Already killed off one pound right there. That's actually our Nartosis pylon, as it is only <laughs> is the only pound powering up two gateways. And look at that, more pounds are being taken out right here. The engagement is happening right now. The first kill is out for I am Gov. More zealots are charging into each other. Archons are doing so much damage, splash damage, and all those zealots. But again, is it gonna be enough? There is just too many colossus, I think, here for fate that. I don't think I am Gao is gonna be able to handle and the Colossus is just focusing fire on, the, on those probes right now. I am Gao is about to lose this 61 against 47. GG for I am Gao. Good game, good game for 